the main next topic is van de graaff generator nowadays this is not asked so its principle is works on the principle of electrostatic induction and action of points right van de graaff generator looks like this in actual life but we will be learning the working using a pictorial representation as per your ncert textbook this is how it looks like okay now let's move on with the components of the van de graaff generator it consists of a hollow metallic sphere a then it is having or the sphere is insulated or is mounted on an insulating pillar b as sorry insulating pillar has been shown now b and c are pulleys okay they are fixed at that end then we are having two combs right uh, this combs are having slight connection with the belt which is made up of silk i hope this much is clear the e and d are the combs and they are very very fine okay and uh, one comb is directly connected to a battery and the battery's other terminal is grounded as you can see in the figure the battery gives you a high voltage clear and there is an electric motor that electric motor is connected to one of the pulley that is pulley c so that c when rotates automatically b also will be rotating clear comb d is connected to a battery of high potential high potential from battery ionizes the air near the comb d the air now has positive protons and negative electrons electrons are attracted towards the comb d whereas the positive charges are repelled towards the belt and stick on it while the belt moves up due to the electrostatic induction comb e will be acquiring the negative charge i hope this much is clear and the sphere will be getting the positive charges on the outer section clear now due to higher negative potential of comb e air gets ionized the positive ions to the e and negative charges falls to the belt whereas the belt is already having positive charge this negative charge from e and positive charge of the belt will neutralize with each other right there's a belt that comes down has no charge each time the sphere moves or the sphere is getting an outer part is getting higher positive charge and this goes on till a limiting value after a stage no more charging can take place the charge now will be starting to leak towards the air that is ionization of the outer air happens which has to be reduced and this leakage can be reduced by enclosing the sphere that is the outer sphere in a gas chamber which is having gas at higher pressure the high voltage which is produced by the van de graaff generator is used to accelerate positive protons or deuterons in nuclear disintegration i hope this much is clear